e-portfolios play an increasingly important part in effective student learning. At Birmingham City University, the Mahara e-portfolio system has been successfully integrated into learning, teaching and assessment in different disciplines. In this first year business and marketing class, students are getting their first taste of using Mahara for personal development. I think the key really with Mahara is you create a page for each of the people you want to deal with. It's about what you can do, it's about evidencing how you can do it, and you can evidence it in a way that is uniquely your way. It's a very visual, engaging and interactive way to present information about yourself and from my perspective as a tutor to learn about the students that I teach. One of the things that we're very keen on is to see um, students as becoming professionals uh, and being professional is all about making decisions and, and, and making choices and standing by them and being prepared to say this is what I am, this is why I think it's important. Mahara was adopted primarily to enhance personal development planning and employability and to replace unwieldy paper-based portfolios. Well at the moment we're logged into Moodle and we've got something called My Stuff and under My Stuff we've got the Mahara ePortfolio. Click and straight into Mahara, I haven't needed to log in. Because Mahara integrates with Moodle, deployment has been made more straightforward. We've been Moodle since 2003-2004, open source. Mahara comes along as an ePortfolio open source. We didn't have to go out and go to tender spec it all out and then do it, we could put it up there at really no cost at the time, try it out, get a few people to play with it, see how it works. It's very bottom up initially and then you need to get the buy-in from senior managers for the resources to follow. Now that it's embedded and it's real and we can't afford to have failures, now the investment is following and that seems to be a cycle with the way that we've done things here. It's a strange model, but it's the one that gets academics engaged and involved. In the School of Law, Mahara is used to enhance employability and develop professional skills. Where students are developing their skills of interviewing and advising, they've filmed each other um, role-playing uh, an interview as though they were a trainee solicitor in practice. Um, they can then upload that video onto Mahara and track their progress through the year. In the School of Education, using ePortfolios to support research assignments is helping to spread the word about Mahara. They go out into school, they carry out some action research and then they have to present for an assignment. By using Mahara to get them to present for the assignment, um, because it's such a wide marking team, many people who work in the, in the School of Education mark on that module. They then became exposed to Mahara through accessing the students' work. The experience at Birmingham City University has shown that the benefits of ePortfolios need to be clearly understood. Where a member of academic staff has designed learning activities that require the use of an ePortfolio, Students really appreciate that. Where an e-portfolio has been used as it's there, get on with it if you want to, I don't think students see why they should do it and I don't think students realise the value of it. And they're confused about why are we doing this, why aren't we using Facebook. This isn't Facebook, there is a need for an institutional ePortfolio, we integrate with Moodle, we can close the loop on assessment. A student may develop their ePortfolio quite independently but submit it as a Moodle assignment, come into the Moodle gradebook, be marked and all of that can be, the loop can be closed. With Facebook, how on earth would you do that? What do students think of Mahara? we assumed wrongly as it turned out that students would all be using things like Facebook and, and other social networking tools and therefore pick up Mahara quickly whereas the reality was that not all of them did lots of them did but not all of them did so they had to be quite responsive and as soon as we realized that we offered top-up training drop-in sessions extra support for those students that needed it 
it's becoming such an important part of learning in general terms that I can't imagine that you know in, in, in a few years in the future that it won't be embedded in every course at some level in some way. It's not just about us as academics pushing content out. Much more interesting to see what students do and give back. Thank you.